Okay, last time we talked about Avdala, we discussed, uh, as was mentioned, uh, women are questionably obligated in Avdala, so therefore they have to hear, both opinions, by the way, say women are obligated in Avdala. There are a few opinions that say women are not obligated in Avdala, and therefore the Altarebbe writes, which is a very practical then, that if a husband, let's say, or a man heard Avdala already, he shouldn't make Avdala for the wife that didn't hear. We learned that, right? Mm-hmm. Discussed that already, okay. Let's go through the actual Havdalah and the reasons for some of the things. Okay? Now, we said already the biblical mitzvah of Havdalah, because again, the Torah says, remember Shabbos when it starts and ends. ends. That's how you sanctify Shabbos. So, biblically, it's verbal. And the Chum came along and said it has to be done over a cup of wine. Now, in addition to that, Chum instituted a few things, Samim and the candle. Now, why do we do psalmim? Because there's an extra neshama that a person has on Shabbos, and that neshama leaves right after Shabbos. So to make the person feel good, we do the psalmim. That's the reason why we do the psalmim. Then, we also have the candle. Okay, why do we have the candle? Because the first 36 hours after other, from Friday morning through Saturday night, there was no, we learned this. We yes. didn't talk. We just said this also? Yes. Good, what? Yes. About why we do some in our candle? I don't know that. What's that? We did well, it last week. Yeah. yeah, that's psalmim. And the licht, because other Mauritian discovered. We did it? Yes. <sighs> okay. Huh? We can make up the other Tuesday. Okay, we did both did that. Okay. Yes. Okay, now. The bracha for the candle is berei ma'orei ha'esh. The the one that created the various ma'orei ha'esh plural, various different types of flames. Therefore, according to Allah, it's preferable that when you make havdalah, you should have a multi-wicked candle. That's why havdalah candles are multi-wicked. Or at least you take two candles and put them next to each other. You take two matches and put them next to each other. But it should be more than one week. Why? Wait, wait, when, when you're in the hospital, can you use... One second, one second, one second, one second. Because the purpose of the... Uh, of the, the because the text of the bracha is me'erei ha'esh, plural. And therefore we use multi-candles. For Hanukkah candles, so for instance, it's forbidden to use a, a multi-wicked candle for... Shonish. Shonish. N- what? No, I'm talking, I, I didn't mean, I meant for B'dikas Chametz. B'dikas Chametz, you can't use a multi-wick candle. Number one, the Chametz say we're afraid you're going to burn down the house, so God will be afraid to go into the corners. And secondly, the Gemara says an interesting thing. A single, wick, a single flame, the light goes in front of the candle. A multi-wick flame, the light goes behind, behind the candle. Now, when you need to search for Chametz, you need to get into the corners to make sure there's no chametz in the corners. So when you bring a candle, single wick candle, the Gemara says, then you're going to be able to see what happens in the corner. But Both if you flames go up. Huh? All flames go up. They don't go this way. No, 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 not go up. But you, the light goes in front or the light goes behind the candle. That's what the Gemara says. A single, that a single wick candle, this goes, the light goes in front, and a multi-wick candle, the light goes behind. So for B'dikas Chavis, you have to use a single-wick candle because you need to look ahead of you into the corner. But for Abdal, because the brach is plural, so therefore it says you should use a multi-wick candle or two candles. What happens if somebody has only one candle? So they have a Shabbos candle and uh, that's it. So what do they do? They can still say even though the bracha is plural, and this is a single candle. But Allah says like this, every flame, if you look at a flame, there's multi-colors in each flame. There's blue, there's yellow, there's white. So me'ere ha'esh could mean even in one fire, you also have various different colors, various different flames. You have blue, yellow, white. So therefore, the chathila, you're supposed to have a multi-wit candle for Avdallah, but if not, you can have uh, uh, even one candle. Our custom is, in Bradan and Aloha, it's better to have beeswax. 
have done a candle. Chal, it's always better to use when you, not mean the Shabbos candles. When you do uh, Shabbos for Hanukkah, B'dikas Chomets, halachically it says it's always better to have a wick, uh, a beeswax candle. So for Avdol also, the meaning is, if you're able to, you're supposed to have a beeswax candle versus just a, a regular Avdol candle. Huh? Yak nuts. What? Yak nuts. Yak nuts. Yak nuts? Yeah. No, that's when you mean yomte for them. To, no, then you just have the candles on the table, you just look at them. Can you use yaknas? What's a yakna has candle? It has, it has two. It has two ways. I know, it's the cell called, candle called yakna house? Yeah. And what do you do with it? I use it for Okay, so good. Why is it called like this? Why is it called like this? Yakna has, because I don't know, Yakna has. Yeah, that's what she's not talking about. Talking about Jonte? No. No, she said the candle is called the Yakna has candle. I don't know, never saw it. Uh, I'm trying to find this in the hospital. Over One second, so if somebody, God forbid, is in the hospital okay. or whatever, so then the Allah is, you're allowed to make Shabbos candles. Shabbos candles, you can make a bracha over the electric lights. Huh? Chanukah not. No, no, no. No? A woman doesn't even have to do it. No, I'm saying Shabbos candles, she said. Shabbos candles. Now, you said Shabbos candles. When I said, okay, you can't say Shabbos. I know, because before I asked you, you said, wait a minute. No, no, no. Now, what happens if somebody is in the hospital and they, or there's no candles around? Can you make a better made a a man? Okay. Well, many women make the bracha better made Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not bchal. It's not an official chabad men either way. The chabad women, as a rule, don't make a better made But if you're allowed to make an electric, so again, most poskim hold that if there's no candle available, you can make a better made also on the. Uh, and the electric lights. Now it's interesting why uh, somebody asked me the other day and I, I never saw a reason, then I looked it up and I found a reason. But um, why is the order very Piagafen and then you have Psamim and then you have the candle? Huh? That's the order. So why? So there's a Pasik in Pashas Kisiso that says by the some uh, by the by the spices used for them for the potatoes, it says over there besamim reish morderor. It's a puzzle at the beginning of kisisa. Besamim reish morderor. Besamim reish means first goes the besamim. So first goes the besamim and then the candle. Why berpi agafin first? Because berpi agafin is. The bracha that the, as the mitzvah and the, and the wine, but they also say another interesting thing. You know that's the problem over here. There's all the ambulances and fire trucks are most over here. Huh? No, this is right Yeah, everything's here. Okay, next is like this. It says. Uh, okay, so it says like this The earth was empty and desolate and void. The Spirit of God hovered over the water. Yeah? And then it says, God said, Let there be light. So somebody brings out a very interesting concept. The, first it says, the earth was desolate and empty. The earth is where grapes come from. So that's first in the Pasig, meaning the wine. Then it says, the ruach elokim. Ruach means meruach, to smell. Besides the spirit of God. Meruach means to smell. So the ruach elokim, merachef is second. That's the brach and the psalmim. Then it says, the yerim elokim yehi or, let there be light. Light is the better marriage. So the reason why we do it in that order is because in the Pasik first is the earth, which represents to where grapes come from. And then it says the spirit of God, which represents the smell, is the next thing. And then it says, God said, let there be light. 
What happens if somebody mixed up the order of the brachas? It doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter. In many places, by the way, the order doesn't matter. You know, even let's say you have a, under the chuppah, you know, you have sheva, after the read the you have the sheva brachas under the chuppah. So over there also, there's an order to the brachas. But what happens if somebody mixed up the order? It doesn't matter. You just say the bracha, you missed. Somebody by mistake said the wrong bracha, so you just, next person says the earlier one. I always found it interesting that people can still say haftal until Tuesday night, right? Like, That's what the book says. That's what, what the Gemara says. Say? That you can make Abdullah through Tuesday. And Sunday night have dollar you do hear it or you do hear it of? You did you did hear of? Yeah. Sunday night have dollar you did hear of? Sunday night have dollar? Yeah. I mean I never saw it. Yes you did. Oh. After Tishabov. If Tishabov and Shabbos is Sunday, you can't make Abdullah and Tishabov, so you make Abdullah Sunday night. If somebody, for whatever reason it is, didn't have ability to make Abdullah. So until when can you make it? Wednesday or Tuesday? It's Tuesday at sundown. Mm-hmm. Why, why up is Tuesday until sundown? Okay, so it's, it's, Shabbos is a very interesting day. Okay, from one side, Shabbos is the last day of the week. Right? All the days of the previous week are elevated through Shabbos. By Yechul HaShemayim Varetz, the Chassidus explains, it becomes elevated. Shabbos blesses the next week. Okay? Then there's another aspect of Shabbos. Shabbos is the middle of the week. Okay? Another way, Halacha says in Kabbalah and Chassidus, in Halacha, by the way, says that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I belong to the Shabbos. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday belong to the Shabbos. So Shabbos is the middle of the week. Three days before it belonged to Shabbos. Three days afterwards belong to Shabbos. Where do you see this in Allah, by the way? You make Avdallah through Tuesday. Because Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday still belong to Shabbos. If it wouldn't belong to Shabbos, you can't make Avdallah on Tuesday. Because what does it have to do with Shabbos? You're done with Shabbos. Is there, any- there is Wednesday also is connected to Shabbos. And this, if you daven every week, a Wednesday, and a yom yom revi b'shabbos, at the end, you say the parak kel nekomas Hashem, and at the end, you say the three psukim of l'chun aranana, which the Fridic Rebbe used to call the small, the kleiner l'chun aranana, the small, mini l'chun aranana. That belongs to the next one. So why Wednesday? It's not part of that parak. Why do we say the three psukim of l'chun aranana Wednesday, and the, when you say the song of the day, the last three psukim, you say the three psukim of the Chunarana. Three first psukim of Chunarana. So now, Yom Yom, the Rebbe says, comes Wednesday, you start thinking about Shabbos already. You say the Chunarana, and then you think, how can you run and have nothing to eat? And then Thursday comes. So why do we say on Wednesday already, the Chunarana, the mini the Chunarana, and the Yom, it's not that parak of Tilim. The answer is, Enter at your own risk. It's okay. It's better late than never. That's what they say in America. So then the pearl, because Wednesday is already connected to Shabbos. So the reason, again, is Shabbos is the focal point of the week. So Shabbos is in the middle of the week. Then that the three days before Shabbos, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, allegedly belong to Shabbos. Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday belong to the Shabbos before. That's why you can make Abdullah through Tuesday, because Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday still belong to Shabbos. And Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you stay, stay the, the small Lachun Aranur because it belongs to the next Shabbos. Here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what we're saying, the Shabbos takes from the week before and fits into the week after. Right. But it's only for the half a week or the whole week? No. Sometimes it's like half, sometimes. I, I said it, I, I mean, I just said that before. What made this up? The Rebbe used to start most of the Fabrengs in Chafei, Chavav, Chavai, those years. The Rebbe always started them. The, what we say in Kiddush, Vayachul HaShemayim Baruch Chol Tzvam, literally means Hashem finished creating the heaven and, and everything in it, yeah, and the earth and everything in it. So Chassidus explains, Vayachulu comes to the word Kiloyen, which means longing, and it also means elevating. 
So Shabbos elevates all the days of the previous week. Okay? All the Aved of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday becomes elevated on Shabbos. Shabbos, the Zayah says, Mi name is Baruch Kol All the days of the next week, all the days are blessed from Shabbos. Okay? So there is Shabbos as the end of the previous week, which elevates the previous week and blesses the next week. Okay? And then you have Shabbos is in the middle. You have three days before, three days after. So different aspects of Shabbos. But the reason why you can make Avdalah through Tuesday is because the Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday still belong to Shabbos. It's rare to happen. I mean, in normal situations, it doesn't happen. But if somebody's stuck somewhere, they have no wine, grape juice, beer, whatever, they can't make Avdalah. So bottom line is, until when do you make Avdalah? It says no psalmim and no, no candle. No psalmim and no candle because that's only Saturday night. What? Is there any other time when that comes into Hanukkah where... That what? What the concept of we have to do is No, I said in the practical law it doesn't exist. It only exists on Sunday night Tishabah. But this can happen. God forbid somebody is not well. They're, 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 they're in the hospital. They're not able to make Avdala. They get out of the hospital Tuesday afternoon. Yeah? They didn't make Avdala yet. They didn't hear Avdala yet. I'll be then, according to sun, uh, uh, up to sundown, you have to make up the That's all. Somehow you just forgot, period. Then you also could do it. And you forgot Tuesday after you No, you forgot, you blew it. I mean, come you on. You blew it, that's, that's fine. You have to do it again, twice or something. Or twice the next Shabbos. Like you do Shabbos? No, again. no. <laughs> By the way, uh, a woman not lighting Shabbos candles that you add another candle is only if she forgot. Not if something happened that she wasn't able to. It says clearly in Shulchan Aruch. We, we, then we discuss, when we learn Tlich Benchi, if a woman forgets the Benchlich, meaning she's a little negligent, uh-huh. then she has to add another candle. It's a fine. It's a fine. It's a, I don't know if it's a fine. It's a, to rem- make, you sure, make sure you remember. Okay. Now, if a woman, God forbid, was in the middle of having a baby and she couldn't do the candle, she doesn't have to add another candle. Or I'll give you another example. You know, which, what if a woman sleeps and she just slept through it? Yeah, that, 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 yeah then she has to add another licht. Then she has to add it. Then she, add, she, has to add, she has to add another licht. Somebody called me, the, okay, Lapel, she benched licht. A lady, she called me yesterday, in fact. She benched licht, but she got mixed up in the calendar. And, and, and then she realized it might be ski already. Or she wasn't sure if it was ski or not. The pearl, she said she lit. Okay? She knows what time? She figured it out. According to Al-Tarebbe Shkia, a few minutes later. The pearl, she did it. It does not what to talk about. Halachically, she probably shouldn't have been shlicht. Because it might be desecrating Shabbos. Well, the pearl, she did. Huh? Yeah, you know how often that happens? Huh? You mentioned the light of the car. You can't drive the car, but you can't stay in the car. So, so then you add a candle or you don't? You have no idea. Like, I'm one rough, right? You have no idea how many phone calls I get Friday afternoon, whether it's from out east, because they can't call a rough in, in New York at that time, or people in California, or this, down the way from New York to Muncie, Muncie to New York, uh, LA, San Diego, Diego, the Long Beach, whatever it is, and uh, they get stuck in traffic. Of course, they left late, but they got stuck in traffic, and Way says they're going to be there a half an hour after Shkia. Uh, eh, what do you do? So the pearl, I mean, happy then they have to stop, and she should bench lift and whatever, but if she didn't, is that called negligent? It depends how you look at it. If they left early in, huh? I'm saying if they left at uh, 12 o'clock and Shabbos is at 7 o'clock, okay, that's, yeah. you can't call that negligent. No. But if they live, leave, okay? I told you, uh, I said this many times, a uh, factual thing. I got to go s- summertime, the counselors were supposed to go for Shabbos to San Diego from L.A., okay? Shabbos, I think, was 6.30, Lich pension, whatever, something like that. Yeah, or 7 so o'clock. Sometimes it's 7 o'clock. Okay, 7 o'clock, let's say, whatever. I don't remember the time. They called me, 4.30. Mm-hmm. 
they're on the ramp to go on to the 405 and Wilshire. Listen to this. They're going on the ramp to the 405, okay, at 430, which under normal circumstances it takes close to three hours to get to San Diego. Friday afternoon traffic, and they tell me it's bumper to bumper. On the ramp. And they have to call you? On the ramp. So they say, what should we do? I said, get off the freeway and go back home. You're not going to, you're not going to San Diego for Shabbos. You'll never make it. I mean, you can't. Well, you're not allowed to do that. But that was, it happens, you know, often happens in New York and there's all over the place. People are negligent because they need to leave earlier. But in that situation, they have to have Very possible they should because they're negligent for not lighting, even though the expression of is a woman that forgot. But forgetting is part of like negligent. Why did she forget the bench list? If something important, you don't forget. No, that's not forget. I'm saying, then Shechonach had said the woman who forgot the bench list. A woman that, again, thought she miscalculated the time she was going to bench list, and then she found out she looked in the wrong week. Whatever it was, and it's after list benching. I don't know if she has to bench list because you can't call that negligent. She has to add, the, add another, I don't know. It's a mistake, it's an honest mistake. Yeah. What if, like, <laughs> That's negligence. What? For Shabbos? Like people should not travel. Oh, you uh, do me. You talking about food being ready in the kitchen, or you talking about traveling? No, like you don't go and do other activities. Just shopping. There isn't in Shchunarch you're not allowed to travel X amount of distance, which applies to time. Yeah. You can go shopping out of Shabbos as long as it is <laughs> the Shabbos is ready. That's a little common sense in the whatever it is. Somebody told me your father was a doctor, I didn't meet it. No more client, nothing. No more patients. And what happens if he had an emergency patient? Okay. I say, okay, a lot of people do that. A lot of people go home 12 o'clock from business also. Which, by the way, in Shkhanarch says it's the proper way of going. You spoke about that once. Yeah, of course we did. Why on Friday, really? Because you never know when you're going to be stuck somewhere. Correct. Okay, next we'll just learn a little more and then we'll go to Tanya. Um, Malava Malka. Okay, Saturday night you're supposed to be, eat Malava Malka. Malava Malka literally means escorting the queen. Malava means to escort, Malka is the queen. Shabbos is the queen, and you have to escort the queen. Meaning it should be eaten at a nicely set table. A lot of people have a custom, it's not officially a Chabad custom, that they even light candles. Metzoy Shabbos on the table. It's not the fish the Chabad custom, I heard. But a lot of people do it. Pelish Chesidim do it. Ungadish Chesidim do it. I don't think a fish the Chabad do it. Anyway, ideally, a person should wash from Malava Malka, but you're not obligated to wash from Malava Malka. You have to eat something. Um, and ideally, you should eat Malava Malka right after Shabbos. You shouldn't eat it after midnight. And so also, Paskim, right? that you shouldn't do anything until you eat Malava Malka. Because you might forget and then uh, you won't eat Malava Malka. Um, Is it strict about that? Huh? We're not so strict about it. Malava uh, Malka? Oh, of course. But you know, the Rebbe, Malava Malka was yes. Kurdish Kedoshim also. The Rebbe always washed for Malava Malka. So the Shabbos by day, Lav Dafka. He didn't necessarily wash. Malava Malka, the Rebbe always washed. No matter, the Rebbe always, that's what they say, the Rebbe always washed Malava Malka. Because Malava Malka has to do with Sudas of the Malka Mashiach. Malava Malka has to do with Mashiach. So that's what it says. So therefore, the, the Rebbe was very, you know, doing uh, all, all those things about. Uh, the Chlaus Chabad Chassidim are not into food mitzvahs too much. 
Officially. I don't know if they cried when they were in the They, uh, huh? Like uh, Purim saw the, they would go on with time, they would eat, they wouldn't eat. It was the things that, Shalashudis, uh, you know, all those types of things. Yeah. I don't know, whatever, but Lava Malka was, a, was a, a very, by the rebels, a very important thing. What? There's a minig that you tell a Bakshamtiv story. So the Vart, it is a Vart that if you tell a Bakshamtiv story Saturday night, it's a Zgula, it's a good luck for uh, Parnassa. Does that suffice for So it's said, so it was brought down. So Machzadik said there's three mistakes. Not only of the Balsham of every tzaddik, not only Matoy Shabbos anytime, and now it's a school for everything, not only Panasim. Okay. People drink a hot drink, that's because it's a Choshva thing. Dr. Rebbe brings down there are people that would drink water Saturday night from a well. Yeah, but why? Now, that brings down that many people at a minute, they would drink water from a, don't forget, they didn't have sinks like we have today. They used to have wells, right? They would drink water from the well of Matzoy Shabbos. Why? Because it says, on Matzoy Shabbos, Miriam is Be'er Hashem Miriam. Miriam is well, would travel underground around the world. And if you punk, took water at the time Miriam's well was in the well that you took water from, you'd be, uh, great stuff happened. Okay. Where we? What? Hot water. No shemaiti, huh? There's another interesting, but just one more interesting thing. Do you wear your Shabbos clothing Saturday night or not? Yes. It's a very, huh? Yeah. Not so simple. No. No, it's not so simple. The Rebbe Rashab, the second Shabbos was over, he took off big day Shabbos. The second Shabbos was over, it was brought down. The Rebbe Rashab, he took off his Shabbos garments. He had a special kapot, a shtrem, or whatever, you know, whatever they were. He took it up right after Shabbos. And he said he doesn't want big day Shabbos on Chol. The Pearl, the Rebbe, did wear big day Shabbos, Matoy Shabbos. Rebbe did wear Shabbos clothing Mitzvah Shabbos. Uh, not only when he came down to Slichas, but there was sometimes he, like a Yechidus Mitzvah Shabbos. Anyway, the Rebbe, the Rebbe wore Big Day Shabbos Mitzvah Shabbos. So also that's Bechlal the Minig by all the Chassidus Shidin. By the Chassidus Shidin, they wear the Shabbos clothing Mitzvah Shabbos too. Okay, let's go to Tanya.